Thanks to the Great Courses Plus for sponsoring this video. More info later. Hi! I know you're not supposed to play with food, but today that's exactly what I'll do. I will show you that a fluorescent substance is not something exotic limited to chemicals in a lab. You eat and drink some of them. I will play with fluorescent drinks and food ingredients you may already have in your own kitchen. Remember to be careful when using laser beams and flammable liquids. And Limit your exposure to ultraviolet light. When thinking of fluorescent drinks, this Mountain Dew seems like the most obvious candidate. The bottles fluoresce neon green when I point an ultraviolet flashlight at them. The ultraviolet light is converted to visible green light, a clear sign of fluorescence. The same happens with ultraviolet light from a black light. But is the drink itself fluorescent? Easy to test in a non-fluorescent container, like a glass made of glass. Here comes the UV, and nothing happens. So disappointing after the anticipation built up by the bottles. No fluorescence in the drink at all, even with an intense violet laser pointer. The laser beam does look blue in the drink. But my camera has a tendency to record deep violet as blue. To my eyes, there is no color change to the laser beam, so no strong fluorescence here. Bummer. Maybe I'll have more luck with some energy drinks. Okay, this one is wee wee colored. The other is morning wee wee colored. Not setting high hopes for beautiful colors in the UV test. Hey! Would you look at that? There's the beautiful green fluorescence I was expecting from the Mountain Dew. Especially the Monster Energy has a nice strong glow to it on the UV light. Awesome! But why? What's the difference between these and the regular soda? Looking at the labels, there's one noticeable difference. The energy drinks contain vitamin B, a lot of vitamin B up to 800% of recommended daily intake if you drink the whole can. Hmm, is vitamin B fluorescent? Time to test vitamin pills containing even more of it. First, I need to remove the useless coating with some tap water. There we go. Already looks more interesting and promising as a point a violet laser pointer at it. I see some yellow reflections, though there is no incoming yellow light, only monochromatic violet. This is worth taking a closer look at in liquid form. I haven't tested the fluorescence of vitamin pills before, so to add an extra layer, I'll use three different solvents. Ethanol, water and vinegar. Can you guess which one works the best? I will test them simultaneously on the black light. Ready? Here we go. Nice! The vinegar is the winner. With a fizz, it quickly dissolves the vitamins and a yellow-green fluorescence follows. The water crumbles the pill too, but works slower. Not as slow as the ethanol though. There's an almost ethereal stream going through it. Beautiful in its own right. The color also reminds me of the energy drinks on the black light, but my eyes may be wrong. Let's compare them with nanometer precision on a spectrometer. This is the emission spectrum from the monster energy drink when excited by the UV flashlight. The drink is a complex mixture, but the emission peak is in the green around 525 to 527 nanometers. How will this compare with a vitamin B pill dissolved in vinegar? I'd say it is the same. Same profile and same peak. 
The main culprit is vitamin B2, also known as riboflavin. This typically has an emission peak around 525 nanometers. The vitamin B2 content is what makes the monster energy glow the brightest. The more you know. There is, however, a drink that beats them all when it comes to fluorescence. The ice cubes from the intro were made of it. Despite its awfully bitter taste, it is my personal favorite. Tonic water. Under normal light, it is clear, transparent and colorless, like water. But under ultraviolet light, this happens. It has a bright bluish fluorescence caused by quinine. I tested the tonic water on the spectrometer under both UV sources. Makes no real difference in the emission from the quinine. The fluorescence of tonic water is impressive and well known. Less known is the fluorescence of yellow curry. Or more precisely, the tasteless spice that makes yellow curry yellow, turmeric. It contains the chemical curcumin, which is fluorescent. Let's try it with the same solvents as in the vitamin test. I will add turmeric to the test tubes. Guess which one works the best for dissolving curcumin? Well, an easy win, since it only works in the ethanol tube. The color is very similar to the vitamin test, but I am sure it isn't riboflavin again. That would have dissolved in the water tubes too. Alright, after a short message, I'll have more examples. If you want to know more about the science behind fluorescence, and science in general, I highly recommend the sponsor for this video, The Great Courses Plus. I'm curious by nature and love learning more about how our world works. And The Great Courses Plus feeds my curiosity and desire to learn. It's a subscription video learning service of highest quality. Over 11,000 videos on everything from science, math, photography and even how to cook food when I'm not playing with it. In the course Understanding the Quantum World, you will learn about the mind-blowing quantum effects behind fluorescence, magnets and email lasers. Some of my favorite topics. I honestly enjoyed this course. Finally, someone was capable of explaining to me the true odd orbitals of electrons in an atom. Thanks, Professor Carlson. I encourage you to give it a try. The Great Courses Plus even offers my viewers a free trial. Click on the link in the description below to start your free trial today. And support me at the same time. Thank you. Enough talking. Here's a couple of examples in a music montage. Enjoy! Thanks to my awesome patrons for helping out with the expensive but well worth it spectrometer. I wouldn't have it without your support. If you want to help me keep going with the videos too, I have a link for my patron page in the description under the video. Thank you.
<laughs> Hope this video brought some light into this dark season. Click like if it did and consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell for more enlightenment. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.